Hello everybody, this is Albert with Green Tea House. I hope you're doing well today. Today we're going to talk about Moroccan Mint Tea. Now before we begin, I highly recommend that you check out our previous episodes, in particular the playlist on 101, what is tea and so forth, and also the playlist of videos that we're doing for each of the teas that we sell. Now, Moroccan Mint Tea, also known as Maghreb Tea, Maghreb Mint Tea, has a lot of names is a world-renowned tea. It is a combination of mint with gunpowder green tea. Now, if you're watching these episodes in order, you'll know that we just did an episode on gunpowder green tea, which comes from China. So it makes sense that the next episode would be on a mixture or a blend of teas. So with Moroccan mint, it's not a mint peppermint or a spearmint herbal or a tisane. It is actually a caffeinated beverage that's going to have green tea, Chinese green tea, mixed with mint. This tea is historically connected to the Maghreb. So the Maghreb is going to be that part of northwestern Africa where the Atlas Mountains are, so present-day Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, that area. But the popularity of this tea has spread throughout the world. And you can see why, if you've ever had Moroccan tea, it's just great that the mixture of mint with green tea and then you throw in sugar, it's a great tasting tea. Historically, it came, the green tea came to Morocco in the 1850s, 1860s via the English, and you're going to hear a lot of that when you go through the history of tea. The English were the great kind of transmitters and purveyors of the variety of teas, in particular black tea. But it is a staple in the Maghreb. And in fact, like in, in the Maghreb, normally it's the women who serve the food, but when it comes to the tea, it's the men who serve the tea to everybody. And traditionally, it's served in an istakhan, which is kind of like, like, a, like a metallic looking uh, canister. And then they serve them in a kisan, and a kisan's like a glass, like a really pretty glass cup. And that's how you drink it. Now, how do you drink it? Well, it's really up to you. You can drink it hot, you can drink it cold. You can certainly find a lot of recipes online on how to do Moroccan mint tea from scratch. So if you have peppermint in your garden or spearmint, how to, how to boil that with the tea and the different steps. But luckily here at Green Tea House, we already sell Moroccan mint tea as is. So in it, you already have the gunpowder green with the mint in the right proportion. So the easiest way to consume this, and what I would recommend that you do, is drink it hot with sugar, drink it hot as is, drink it cold as is, and drink it cold with sugar. The easiest way to do this is steep the tea. I would tell you, you know, 180, 180 is a good uh, temperature to steep this for about three minutes. And they have a great saying in Morocco about how you re-steep. And we've talked about it in the previous episode about sessions. See here, we don't throw away tea leaves after one usage. We use them at least three times. We call that one session. So if you reuse your tea leaves thrice, your tea is going to last a lot longer. right? And even though part of me is like, oh, come back and keep buying more tea, that's dishonest. You can re-steep your tea leaves quite a bit. We have an episode on that. But the Moroccans have a great saying about it. It says, the first class is as gentle as life. The second is as strong as love. The third is as bitter as death. And what does that mean? Each time you steep it, there's going to be a different taste. And if you guys ever re-steep your tea leaves, no matter where it is, if it's in Morocco or whatever type of tea it is, you'll notice that each one has a different taste. And certainly the last one is typically the most bitter because it's been steeped the longest. So the easiest way to drink Moroccan mint tea is boil it, steep it three minutes. And then from there, uh, the way they do is the sugar cubes. Uh, the, they're, they're just beautiful. And, and if, you, if you go to like a, a Middle Eastern restaurant, which I know is not Moroccan, but you know, they kind of like, they, they, they borrow from the different cultures. Um, a lot of places, these restaurants and so forth, uh, will serve it in the istikhan. They'll, they'll, they'll serve it the way it is meant to be. And so you can have them and you can plop in sugar cubes. You can do it like that and drink it hot with the sugar in there and stir it and it can get a little frothy on the top, or you can drink it cold. You can steep the ice cubes in there and then overnight it the next day where it's gonna be cooler. It's really up to you. It's really up to you how you wanna do it. But typically, 
Moroccan mint tea is drunk with sugar. Doesn't have to be like I drink it as is because I don't drink any tea with milk and sugar. You're not supposed to drink Moroccan mint with milk, by the way. So it's traditionally drunk with sugar. So if you want to drink it, how the majority of the Maghreb and really, I mean, the hybrids of Moroccan mint are really drank throughout the entire uh, kind of m Muslim world, then definitely drink it with ice cubes. But in, in closing, I would recommend that you try it hot and cold with sugar and, and go that way. And so in closing, it does have caffeine, not a lot because the, the, the proportion of gunpowder Chinese green tea with the mint does lower the caffeine level, but it does have some caffeine. So just be wary of it if you drink it at night, if you're sensitive to caffeine. And it's just a great tea. And we highly recommend that you check out our Moroccan mint tea. Until next time, take care. Post in the comments. Let me know what your history is with Moroccan mint. Take care. God bless and pray.